Um, extreme condition fuel evaporative. Or no, fuel evaporation. Um, what the hell does that mean? An atmospheric anomaly in this part of the zone causes fuel to drain much faster than usual, usual as if it's evaporating into nothing. Well, that's just wonderful. Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to head back to the mid zone. Uh, but before we get started with that, we're going to go uh, research a couple new things here. And also, if you guys find yourself enjoying this uh, episode, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you've already subscribed. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's get started here. So um, we're going to go into here, and um, there's a couple things that I want to get. I just have to remember what they were because... Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> I think, let's see, what was this? Yes, I would like to get the expanded matter generator. However, we're going to have to accumulate 240 marsh eggs for that. So we're not going to be able to do that right now, of course. We only have 20 marsh eggs. But that is like towards the top of the list for sure. Um, I think, I think we're doing pretty good with everything else in this menu for the time being. Um, we needed to learn, we needed to learn this, uh, carbon fiberglass for something, but let's wait just a moment before we do that. I would like to get the increased, or, or rather the, the better version of the thermal vac. Now that we know that we, you know, we're going to, I mean, I use this vacuum all the time. It's super useful, but as particularly for those marsh eggs, I think it's time for us to upgrade this. So let's go ahead and do that. The question though is... Can we actually make it? Do we have all the stuff that we need? Let's take a quick look-see here. Thermovac. We need eight thermosap crystals. Okay, let's just wait for a second on that one. Um, I want, let's see, lights. Don't think I wanted to do anything lights at this point. Um, or, yeah, I don't think I want to do anything here. I'm, I'm thinking that, let's see, which one of these, is one of these corrosive existent, or, or resistant, rather? Because it seems to me, yeah, acid resist, anti-corrosive. So, we might want to get into anti-corrosive at some point, because we're probably going to run into a lot of that in the swamp, I'm thinking. Um, but it looks like, yeah, we're going to have to learn this first as a prerequisite. So let's hold off on that. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about trying out the all-terrain tires because it basically it gives us an A rating on all types of surfaces because we don't, you know, uh, the car doesn't handle it as good as I'd like it to on pavement with the off-road tires. Um, so we'd be losing one A rating for off-road, but it's still it's still A, though, so it's not that bad for off-road, but give us better road handling. Uh, plus, these have a, a 300 health versus 250, so there's that, too. So let's keep that one in mind, but that's what we needed to research the carbon fiberglass for. We've learned all of those. Um, we need corrupted energy for that. This is the backseat tank, which we lucked out and found one of those for free. But we're still going to have to learn this at some point if we want to advance to these guys. But I think we're going to hold off on that as well. It would be nice to learn this, uh, the plasma charger. Uh, because it will help us to charge the battery much quicker than the, than the jumper cable thingies that we can do. And then that's a hydro charger, 0.135, but I think that relies just on rain, so I'm not, not necessarily a fan of that. Solar is 0 0.035 kilowatts per second, so that's even worse, because how many times are we driving through these zones with no sunshine, right? Either because it's rainy or we're in the eerie darkness or whatever. I think this is almost worthless, to be honest with you. 
It wouldn't be as bad if it gave you more of a trickle charge, but this is terrible. <laughs> this is absolutely atrocious. So, yeah, anyway, my opinion. Um, these, yeah, we're, we're going to... At some point, we might con need to consider the high-capacity battery. Um, but not right at the moment. Okay, so what was this? Oh, yeah, the resource radar. This could be useful. Uh, it's a roof item, too. Uh, so let's learn that. Again, I'm not sure if we'll be able to make it or not, but we'll see. Okay. Now, um, let's go back to here again. And... Yeah, we're not, we're not going to do another engine yet. We just learned the new one, or got the new one. So let's go back to... Was it the tires, I think, we were interested in? So we need to learn the carbon fiberglass. Let's just do it. We need to do it. Okay, and then let's go back to the tires. And let's learn the all-terrain tires. Very nice. Okay, so we still have 0.8 unstable. We'll need one one full unstable, and I'm sure we'll you know are going to come across a lot more of that in the marsh, and we need the marsh eggs for that. What was this thingy? Oh, the deco vendor. Okay, now I'm not really all that concerned about that. Um, okay, so we learned the vacuum, but I wanted to see if we can actually. Um, let's go back to here. Thermal vac. Yeah, I, let's make it. It's going to cost us some crystals, but my understanding is that we can, we're going to be able to find thermosap crystals more easily in quantity in the mid zone. So I'd like to have a nicer vacuum. Okay, cool. Um, and that is this one here. Very good. We'll go ahead and use up the one we currently have first uh, before we uh, before we start using that one. But now we have it, so. We're in good shape there. This one is not, you know, it's not long for this world anyways. And let's see. We also did the tires. Yeah, we need to go out and about again before these things are uh, repaired. I don't know how much electrical nastiness we're going to run into in the mid zone. You sure seem to have a lot of it in the in the outer, you know, the outer zone, though, for sure. So if it turns out that we're not running into it that much in the mid zone, we might need to change our strategy in terms of what type of panels and doors we're going to use. But for now, I'm going to stick with, with these insulated ones. So tires. Do I have everything I need to make for all season tires or all terrain? We're going to need to make a total of eight carbon fiber. We have tons of all the rest of the stuff. So what does this need? That needs something called tree candy. I don't even know what the hell that is. Okay, well I guess I guess we're not going to be doing anything with uh, um, all terrain tires for for the knots. Um, and I think that's really all we I have planned here for uh, inside the garage for this episode. I, the these two putties I got out of the dumpster. And um, so we'll use those first before we use up. Uh, start using our blowtorch. But yeah, we need we need marsh eggs for this. We need marsh eggs for um, for the expanded uh, matter thingamadoodle. And so we're really going to be going after those for sure. All right, let's take a look at. Um, actually, let's get caught up on some reading. I don't think we have a ton. In fact, yeah, it looks like we only have one thing to read here, and that is. Resource radar. The Savvy device may seem cheap, crude, and crude, but it's precisely calibrated to detect nearby resources and raw materials. Right. We want to make that because we have this extra roof rack here. Uh, can we make it though? That's the question. Um, resource radar. It looks like we can. We just need one circuit board. Okay. Cool. Let's put this on the top rack here. Oh my God! Look at that thing. <laughs> Jesus, that thing's huge. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to... 
We're probably going to have to switch that out with one of these... Uh, one of these guys, but... Yeah, I think it's going to be more useful to keep these on all the time. Well, maybe we could switch it out with... I mean, I'm not exactly sure how it works. Does it have to run all the time? Or do we just activate it and it scans? Let's switch out the side floodlights because the side floodlights are situational. And we'll see. We'll just see how that works, you know, and I'll get a better feel for it. Fantastic. <laughs> Look at our car. It's just crazy. I mean, in a good way, though, too, right? I love it. I just love it. It's very cool. Okay, let's go over to here. All right, so if we're going to go... So what can we... Oh, shit. Do we have to go through all these extra zones to get back here again? And why don't we see the... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Okay, what's going on over here? No, no, no. We got a whole shit ton of zones in here. Okay, never mind. I was I was misreading that. So this is where he wants us to go. Uh, it does say it's, um, it's stable. It's got a decent amount of unstable power. But we are going to have to go through D2, which looks like it's pretty nasty right about now. Okay. So I think the idea is we just travel along these these highways to get there more quickly. You know, and I still haven't even, even in the outer zone, I still haven't investigated all this up there. So that's something that's going to have to happen at some point, too. Let's do this. So, we're after marsh coral, which we haven't found yet, marsh eggs, and tree candy. So those are the things we need to keep in mind for uh, resources that we're looking for. Let's do this. Yes. Okay, so it looks like we have to go to G1 and then probably to G4. Okay, this has extreme conditions, malfunctioning mess, disruptive charge, and swift storm. Um, and it does have a little bit of unstable energy, but I think we're probably going to just try and cruise through there as quickly as possible. Not messing around in here because I don't want the car to get all banged, ba you know, beat up before we even get to where we need to go. So yeah, let's just cruise. Let's stop here really quick and loot this place. Speaking of RP, you're not gonna like this, Francis, but I'm starting to think we can't do this alone. Look, it's not that I doubt our abilities. No one knows the zone like that old bat. I do <laughs> heard what bat. she said. She'll sabotage this remnant before helping us. Right. Well, she'll come around to our jobs. No, she won't. Nothing <laughs> I in doubt 13 that. years we spent in R&D proof that she's open to working with anyone. She dug her heels in so deep that she wrestled everyone down into the grave with her. I... I can't be involved if she is. Francis seems to be the only one who's the voice about? of reason. This is the entire reason we stayed behind, to write the record of the zone. Not about the experiments and the technology, but to tell the legends of the land. I don't want anything to do with her. I, I don't want to talk to her. I, I don't want her advice. I, I, I don't want to hear her goddamn voice. This isn't like you. What's going on, Francis? Is there something I should know? No. <sighs> All your work 
fucking limb R&D. All the time you spent, your entire career, your entire life. You sacrificed it all for honor, and how did they thank you? With a black hole in your resume, where you can't tell anyone what you did. You couldn't even tell people where you wiped your ass for ten years. So no, I I'm not letting this go. Not for me, but especially not for you. That, 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 that's not... Never mind. You know, sometimes I wonder, how much of you staying here was actually to hunt these legends? Or if it was because you had nowhere else to go? Hmm. That's intense. All right, let's vacuum all this up. And we're off. Here we go. Okay, so we have two um, thingamadoodles, unstable powers, and they're right along the road. So those are in really good spots. We're not even going to do anything else in this zone but move through and grab those two things. At least that's the plan. We'll see if that's the way it actually works out. To get into that left and right because it's going to run us right into that electricity. right over there. What the hell just hit us? I don't know. I'm sure glad we have thermal resistance on this vehicle. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments, but it seems to me like thermal resistant panels is the way to go in the outer zone for sure, from what I've seen so far. I mean, I'm sure armor is probably pretty damn good too, but this just seems to be a lot of electrical damage. Um, yeah, let's just keep going along the road here. We should run right into the next power thingy. And we already got a storm coming in. Not surprising. Back up just a little bit. Get the hell out of here. There's no more reason to stay. Kind of hard to see the road sometimes. Yeah, we 
guess I was able to keep that impact from being too terribly hard. And left and right, it's all over the place. Give me back control of my car, damn it. I hate those things. Alright, we're just about out. Okay, we could go up into the marsh here. There's low unstable energy. There's one kind of junction condition that we don't know. Um, the other option is go this way. We go through darkness, but we have normal power. And then straight up into where, to here. I wonder though if we could get to here from here. Let's let's do that. Let's just go up this way. Back into the mid zone. See the thing that kind of sucks is we're getting the shit beat out of us before we even get to the mid zone. <laughs> I don't like that. Research outpost. The Myers mid zone. Okay. Um, extreme condition fuel evaporative, or no, fuel evaporation. Um, what the hell does that mean? It's a good thing we have two, uh, two fuel tanks. No, this is what we want. An atmospheric anomaly in this part of the zone causes fuel to drain much faster than usual, usual as if it's evaporating into nothing. Well, that's just wonderful. But we have an extra tank in the back seat, and we have two large fuel tanks and our small fuel tank. So hopefully we can make this work without too much difficulty. We're going to want to go down the road and turn left and go down to, to here. And then we'll kind of see how things go. Crazy. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, we just got to keep an eye on our on our gas. In fact, is there a filling station here? <sighs> yes, there is. Okay, that's good. There's a filling station way over there. Um, oh, you know the other thing too is we've got that side fuel distillery thingy me doodle too, so that should help us a bit. So we want to be on the lookout for new stuff to scan. All right, let's take a Louie here. Looks like we have a can opener. Is that one of those bubble gumps, or is that something different? What the fuck's going on? Swollen. There's no fix. Well, that's just wonderful. All right. Where did that thing go? I just saw something floating up in the trees a second ago. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if that's what's messed with our car and I just didn't see it. That sounds like a big mean old bullfrog. So, so basically our battery uh, sprung a leak. Uh, oh wait, what's up here? A shaggy scrambler. Oh, no, 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 no. Run it away. Leave me alone. Let's go. I don't need no shaggy scramblers in my life. Oh, wait. That is a bubblegum thing, and it's got a shaggy... No, 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 no. Get off of me. Thank God for limp pulse, huh? Whoa. Pisses me off, man. It sucks. Okay. Um. Is that what they have? Is a shaggy scrambler? No, it's a pickpocket. All right. We're scanning all kinds of weird shit. Those are bubble gums. I'm sure they are. What else would they be, right? I'm curious what they, the other thing they have, hung, yeah, that they've hung on to. Hey, wait a minute! That looks like my car door. Seriously, did they steal my car door? No way! Here, let's grab these. chemical come from that was just floating there that's weird maybe it was in the back of the car or something did those fuckers steal my door unbelievable <laughs> What the hell do we do about that? How do we fight against that? You know what? Did we read about bubblegums? Unbelievable. Um, okay, hold on a sec. Can we... I mean, let's at least make a crude door. We gotta have something there. Lord. Fully outfitted. Car of Thesis. Okay, here. Let's climb in here. Let's go to here. Shaggy Scrambler. Uh, we nearly got him, Sally. We were within an inch of catching the notorious that Scott guy. We almost did it. I swear to you, we're going to triumph where the regulars just can't. After 11 months hiding out in the zone, stealing cars, breaking into shelters, taking food, you know how we're going to do it? Anomalies. We use roadblocks to funnel him deeper to where we knew those beastly malfunction things were. And you know what they did? A whole pack of them descended on his car, right in front of us. His engine dies, his battery burns out, his steering locks. He ends up stuck there in the middle of the road with nothing but his regrets. And then somehow he still gets away, just melting into the darkness. I guess it didn't help that all our cars had started malfunctioning too. But that's not what matters. Mark my words. We'll catch him next time. Okay. That doesn't really tell me anything. Pickpocket. At this stage, I didn't know who is responsible, but I do need you to understand that any provocation of these creatures will be an actionable offense. Deliberately, luring them with any kind of bait only makes them both more accustomed and more persistent. At this point, we have lost literally millions of dollars in valuable parts and equipment. The colonel being carried away in his porta potty is simply another symptom of lax discipline and disregard for the potential dangers of the zone. I will not hesitate to report any future neglig negligence directly to the major. So, <laughs> the colonel got carried away in his porta potty, huh? Okay, um, 
Where is the bubblegum thingies? Here. What the hell keeps hitting me? Does that have something to do with this? Leaking? We're not we're not actually losing or don't seem to be losing charge on that. Maybe there's some kind of environmental thing going on with that. Let's go back to here. I want to... Yeah, swollen. Time overuse or damage have it affected the chemical reactions that happen in this battery. Whether it's gas, moisture, or both, too much of an unwanted byproduct has built up. A replacement is in order before things get any worse. All right, we'll have to replace that. I mean, we just... Well, no, I guess we've had it for a while. I think this arcing thing's got to be the battery. I don't know what else would be doing that. Okay, I, we got to read about bubblegum buddies because I think I, I scanned it in the last episode, but we were on our way out. We didn't have time to mess with it. Hi there, Dr. Cook. This is Tobias Barlow from Maintenance. I think I know why your field equipment is missing, and uh, you're not going to like this. So me and a bunch of folks doing requisition and in inventory have been losing gear too, but also finding it again later in different areas of the zone. We thought we lost some to high winds, but then but some to, you know, scrambling. But the weather's been pretty normal, and we realize the zone... Hasn't had a tantrum in a while. So we did a kind of stakeout. We left some old gear at a test site, and you won't believe it. These things are like gooey fireflies or will-o'-the-wisps or something. They come out of the trees and kind of band together. They grab stuff like make pies and then pass it around like uh, a football team. Anyway, I know you scientists want to know about the stuff, so I figured I'd take notes. There's uh, quite a lot. I did some sketches, took some numbers, and I repeated things like an experiment. I figured you might want to see this, so mind if I drop this stuff by those... Numa tubes are malfunctioning again. <sighs> okay, so let's uh, let's let's try our scanner thingy and see how it works. Oh wow, look at that! That's freaking awesome, man. There's some kind of salamander thing over that way. That's useful. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing the salamander thing is probably something to do with swamp resources. Where did it go? Oh, it's the cars we already harvested. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I can, that thing's going to be super useful. Uh, is that a thing? No, that's just part of the decoration. Okay. Um, well, let's get down and get our our power thingy, and then uh, we'll decide what to do next after that. Can't believe that bastard took my door. It's bullshit. That is, yeah, that's one of those. Thingies that we already scanned. Stay away from it. It can't bring anything good. I don't. I can't imagine that it would. Okay, there's more bubble gums. Let's so stay away from them. We got something interesting here. A neon reef. Uh, 
I said to use the vacuum, but it's not doing anything. Oh, there we go. Swamp coral, yes! I mean, that makes sense, right? Reef, coral? Can we... It grows back? Really? Wait, what? We have to grab it before it disappears. How interesting. Okay. Oh, look at that. Those bubblegums caught a, uh... An abductor. That's interesting. So they can also be helpful in addition to harmful. Wow, okay. Let's go. Oh, we're out of gas already. Shit! That fast? Oh my god, that's not good, you guys. That is not good. I didn't think we'd run out that fast. We gotta we gotta make sure we don't leave the car running at all in this zone. Okay, let's hop back in. Uh, all right, I, I think we go, we go grab the power. What the fuck? It's got to be that leaky battery that's doing that. Um, yeah. So let's grab the power. Then what we'll do is we'll. Go get that audio recording and then head up to the gas station and then we'll see we'll see what's what's going on after that. Okay, let's do it. Go anywhere near the bubble gums. Hopefully, they stay far enough away. So, that's the history of the Olympic exclusion zone. We know it absolutely existed and that something blighted the area. Dr. Ophelia Turner was a real person who grew up there and limb technology, claimed to be her invention, was the reason the zone was created. The facts point to either the pursuit of limb or the technology itself doing something terrible to the area and maybe even to the people who stayed behind. For such a vast, valuable area as the Olympic Peninsula to be lost to the world for the indefinite future, someone needed to take the fall. The evidence in this corner paints the target square on the martyr part of this equation. Or did Dr. Ophelia Turner know what she was unleashing upon her homeland? If she did it willingly, then she would have been a monster. But if the government strong-armed her into it, then she would have had no choice but to become a martyr. To answer that question, we need more information still. What are you gonna do to my car, you fucker? 
Alright, so he just blew up. Probably caused some explosion damage. Let's get the new vacuum out. So we have 96 eggs and 13 swamp coral. Let's go. So that thing came and blew up on our car. Our right rear panel is not in the best of shape. Okay, we need to make it to that gas station if we're going to spend any more time in this zone. At least the water's not too deep around here. I don't know if I can make it up that hill, so let's go across this way. Oh man, there's something wrong with our engine. Really? This place is beating the shit out of us, man. this place. Is that a road there? Yes, it is. Good. Didn't mean to hit the scanning thing, but... Okay, how far are we... Why does it keep doing that? I don't know. Oh, we're very close to the gas station. Okay. Um, you know what, though? Just in case. I mean, that doesn't give us very much, but that might be just enough to get to where we need to go. Let's grab some from this car, too, if we can. There's none in there. Oh, geez. Okay. Does this drain even when the car's not on? Eh, I don't know. We just got to get around this corner here. Okay, good. We made it to the gas station. Whew. Okay. Let's fill the main tank up first. Can we... Oh. That shows that it's full of fuel. Oh, I'll bet you it, it filled up when we filled up the main tank. Okay. Which is interesting. I didn't think it would work that way, but apparently it does. So we're fueled up, but we really have to be aware of that. This zone would be almost impossible if we didn't, you know, if it didn't have a gas station. Let's check out this investigator. Take all of that stuff and I'm just going to scrap this armored door for the crystal specifically. Let's go. Okay. 
I, I just wanted the crystal crystals mostly. I don't care about the rest of that stuff. Alright, let's hop inside of here and um, heal up a little bit. Okay, so I guess the question now is do we do we want to keep fighting this damn place? You know, knowing that it's sucking our gas down like crazy. Or do we want to just get the hell out of here? Okay, I had to go AFK for a bit there. Um I think our car's not in the best of shape, is it? Why don't we why don't we stick around until we have to once again fill our fuel tank, and then, um, and then we'll just get the hell out of here. Uh, so, I'm mostly interested in swamp eggs and coral. So let's get back down to the water. And I'm gonna do another scan here. I guess we're looking for the salamander thingy. Oh man, that resource thing is awesome. It's so good to have. I don't see any salamander thingies around here though. I'm not really interested in doing basic looting like You don't like the art of trailers for now. We can do that in the outer zone. We need to get the specialized stuff since our time here is very limited. Okay, let's do another scan. That doesn't seem to use a ton of power, which is good. Okay, Carl's over here. Okay, so the salamanders specifically mean the eggs. Interesting. Oh man, I'll tell you what, if, if I play this game again, which I probably will, because I just love it, um, I will, uh, I'll get this resource scanner as soon as possible. This thing is so useful. Okay, um... So we have to wait for them to appear, and then we suck them off. Okay. That is interesting. We need this for the large backpack, and we needed it for something else, too. The coral here. I'm glad we got the better hand back for this, too. Okay, is it going to come back? There we go. kind of move around a little bit to get it to show up. Uh, here? Here, uh, here. I think. It still seems to be flashing pink, but I'm not seeing the corals show up, so we probably got them all. We have a total of 91 there. Okay, so... 
So we have 104 so far. But I think we we need a we need a bunch of these. A lot more than just that. When it's all said and done. Oh, there's a um let's go over here and get the armored things off of here for more crystals. Do I have my extractor thing because we could actually put an armored door well you know what no i'm not gonna worry about that right now let's just get the crystals off of these damn it i didn't get any okay there's one two okay well we got two wow there was like four armored components on this car. That's a lot. That's not bad. Let's check the trunk. Right. Let's look at the rest of this. Very good. Uh, we've already scanned this guy. He's the creepy crawly thingy it looks like looks like he's got like a big part of him and a small part of him or something it's really odd all right we should probably give our hood and our back panel a little bit of attention here uh, so let's grab our blow torch or no actually might as well use this putty up so we got it for free. It was, um, yeah, this panel's in really bad shape. What else? A uh, bumper. Okay, so that gets everything into the yellow. Let's hit our headlights, too. Let's hit our door. That door's... Oh, that door's ready to be replaced completely anyways, because it's got the fragile thingy on it or whatever. Whatever the hell that is. This is pretty rough. Tires are in the water. My tires are in actually pretty good shape. Okay. Well, that definitely gets us in in better shape. What exactly is matter with our engine? It's got the oxidized um, symbol. Hmm. Okay, let's do another resource scan. down to half a tank of fuel. That's crazy. Let's do a scan here. Here we go. We got some eggs over this way. Here. 
Let's get in here quick. So we can do our limb pulse. Fuck off, dude. Okay. Let's go. There's another investigator over here. Look at all those eggs we have. Nice. Another blowtorch. We'll take it. We will take it. Put this stuff away first. And you have armored... Do I have my thingy in here? Uh, I don't. I don't want to make one, even if I, I might not even be able to make one out in the field. But it uses thermosap crystals anyways, which I kind of don't want to use up at the moment. All right, I'm not worried about the tires. Or that extra shit there. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Okay, let's get the map. Um, yeah, we're going to have to consider, you know, getting to these guys when the time comes. Let's turn right. We got a storm of some sort coming in. We'll get through this tunnel and then we'll do another scan. Yeah, I can definitely see where the water tires would be useful in a place like this. For sure. Um, I'll bet you there's... Yep, I was going to say, I'll bet you there's salamander thingies over by those globe dealios. And we're out of fuel. Alright. Let's go get these first, and then we'll refuel, and then we better get out of here. Oh, wrong thing. I'm gonna watch my health, too. Shit. Okay, let's just go. Of course, it had to spread all the way over here. All right, let's get in here, and I don't have any thing to heal out in my inventory currently. So let's take one of these. Take both of them. Alright, we need to fuel up and we need to get out of here. I don't like this place. It sucks. That was really nice that we found that large fuel can in the dumpster pearl. I think that was in the last episode. The bouncing thing that the car does, that isn't a quirk. It just does it. It's kind of weird. Probably a bug. Alright. Let's hop in here. And go here. We need to just drive a little bit further away from that. Here, let's do this. Let's get on... Let's get on the road. Okay. 
All right, let's get out of here. I seriously don't like this place. It sucks. Yeah! Oh shit! We got tagged. Uh, okay, yeah. We need to go. Oh shit! Stay on the damn road. Yeah. I'm gonna. Oh, look at that thing. That's interesting. I'm gonna stay on the road until we get close and then we'll go off into the water. Because if I go in the off into the water right now, it's gonna be uh it's gonna slow us way down. Wasn't that first marsh zone that we went into in the last episode a stable zone? It'd be nice if you could just have one zone that didn't beat the shit out of you, you know? So you could gather resources in peace. I don't know, maybe that doesn't happen in the, in the mid zone. Seems to be a lot more of the armored vehicles. Well, we are kind of banged up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you seeing these readings, Francis? Gateway opens like blah, 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 and the car goes pow. Senses go. Blah, 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 blah. The shittlesphere. The shittlesphere. Oh, it's my favorite part. Of it, but... Right. Okay. Um. So I guess. I guess this is just no good to us because um because it's swollen and swollen meant swamp coral a bioluminescence is perfectly normal they say it's found throughout nature they say so why does this light reactive substance still feel so unnerving yeah no shit um I wanted to look at at this again. Breaking the Indus Nye. This is so badly damaged, it's on the verge of coming apart. It needs either immediate repair or scrapping. Where was um, Swollen? The replacement is in order before things get any worse. So this seems to suggest that we, that this thing's already shot the hell. Nice tire. All right, well, maybe we'll be able to use some of those resources to make a new one. Um, well, we're going to have to pick them up if we want to reuse all of them. Okay, can we make a new side battery. I guess I have had that side battery for a little while, so it wasn't like it was brand new. Okay, so that's fixed. The fuel synthesizer is, doesn't have any status effects. It just needs to be repaired. No status effects, no status effects. Oh my god. Yeah, we got kind of beat up out there, didn't we? Alright, this tire is... Uh, it just needs a... Uh, one of these. But you know what? Let's actually leave that one in there. Uh, see them kit. And then our engine is, I think that means oxidized, right? Oh, 
Okay, so it doesn't seem to suggest that the engine is going bad. It just needs to be fixed. Except for that it is fixed. There's no damage on it. Oh, electrician's kit. It. Oh, actually, it's a shorted spark plug. That's what the issue is. So that symbol means two different things, then. A plug is either shorting or fouled and should be replaced as soon as possible. Until then, the finely tuned firing of this engine will be out of sync. And this could affect speed, acceleration, and even battery consumption. It's time to pull out a repair kit. Okay. So, same symbol, but means a couple different things. Which we've, you know, we've already seen that a couple of different times. So, electrician's kit. Excellent. Okay, cool. Um, doesn't appear to be any status effects on anything else. Uh, well, except for that panel, which means that panel actually needs to be co completely replaced. Uh, everything else just needs to be repaired. All right. Well, before I let you guys go, I want to see if we can make the this. The expanded matter regenerator. We can. We've got enough marsh eggs to do that. Let's do it. Is it going to look differently? I, th I think it looks differently. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at all the space in there. fan frickin' tastic man. Okay, that was the biggest thing I wanted to be able to do with our marsh eggs. Um, we need coral for the big backpack. We Okay, yeah, shoot. We need 200 swamp coral for the big backpack, so we're going to have to go back out and farm some more of that up. Now, we have 104 so far. Uh, but this is this is going to be nice, you know, having the expanded space here uh, for sure. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm going to get the car fixed up. And the plan will be in the next episode to go back out and, um, you know, keep, uh, keep on keeping on. I think... Uh, what do I think? See, this junction here has stable it has stability it's like what's it called permanent stability or something like that um and because we were in i think we were just in c5 we can actually get get to there through c5 now um d2 i think is where we were before that's got some kind of weird condition I think if it if it's pink, well, it, yeah, I don't know. We, we can't tell until we scan it. But that could mean that it that it's stable. But like I was saying, it would just be nice to kind of find a a mid you know, a mid zone that's at least not, you know, doesn't have junction conditions fighting against us and on top of everything else. Uh that, you know, draining the gasoline so fast thing just really sucked. It really did. But we'll figure it out, you know, what we're going to do in the next episode. So with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.